What's going on party people? My name is Solomon, I am an artist, and thus I go by Solomon the Artiste. So I know that I've said that I don't really want to do the whole film along video thing and just cut and make it into parts or whatever, but for this particular video I opted to cut it in half because uploading these long videos where I'm at is just horrendous, like the Wi-Fi isn't the strongest and so it takes hours to upload you know a 10 minute video and so I thought you know what I'm just gonna at least for this one I'm gonna splice it and just be more content in that um, yeah I'll try to at least upload them back to back which I guess might also be kind of pointless because I'm trying not to have one long <laughs> upload session but um, but we'll see the point is I'm just making this intro so that I am prepared if I do decide to splice the videos maybe I'll change my mind I don't know but we'll see um, yeah, so just in case, enjoy part two. So eventually I finally figured, let me just move out here one time and done and, you know, just see what happens. You know, if I'm here all the time, there's probably more that will happen. And of course I moved out here and a lot of those people ghosted me. And at first I felt some type of way, but as I began to like pay more attention, I realized that a lot of these people are false in the sense that they put up this huge front. You know, it's one thing for somebody to come and visit and you can put up the front while this person is here and when they leave, you know, you can go back to your life, you know. But when they're here all the time, they get to see how you really live. And I noticed that, I realized that a lot of these people, like they made it seem like they were living in these huge apartments and had all this, they, they just put up, they did the whole Instagram thing, you know, make it seem as if you're living this huge life, but then when the camera's not on you, you're really living Terribly, <laughs> not terribly, but you're not living as high-end as you make it seem. So a lot of these people I realized just didn't want to get caught and so they've ghosted me. And I understand that, that's okay. You know, you do what you gotta do. I'm not that guy. If I don't have it, then I don't have it. I'm not gonna front like I have more than I have just to appease anybody, you know? And me personally, I don't care necessarily that much you know about name brand this and whatever and whatever you know I'm an artist I just want to be creative and if you don't want to look at what I have to offer or listen to what I create musically because I'm not dressed a certain way or whatever then such is life you know it is what it is you know um but a lot of but the thing too that people have to realize is that People have come out here for the sake of pursuing certain dreams and or goals. So, the people who are fake nice, that's just how it is. And you have to, you know, just accept that these people are, these people are business nice, basically. Yes, we might go to the club together, we might hang out, we might go out to dinner, yada yada yada, but it's for appearances, you know. You may not like this person but this person is I don't know best friends with who the heck lives out here I don't know uh, Will Smith you know and that might just be a connection that you see might work in your favor one day um, I guess you do what you got to do again I guess that's something that probably holds me back because I don't really want to do that like you know it, <laughs> I don't even know what to say from that point on um, I'll probably cut some of this out I yeah I think that's really what it ultimately comes down to like there's so many people in New York and so many people trying to hustle and bustle and get to where they got to go and trying to get to the next gig and this and that like you know you can't do that you can't do things like in New York you're spoiled because again we have the subway system and it's 24 hours and it's always always running and even when it's not on time the thing that New York has over LA is that even if our system was stopped at midnight or whatever like it does out here um, the trains they 
interconnect in such a way where if your train isn't working, there is absolutely another two, three, four, five ways to get to where you're going. And you don't necessarily need to get on a bus additionally to get to where you're going, you know? Um, yeah, so it is what it is. I say that to say that and to say that um, that's the other thing with LA. Like if you have auditions, if they are not in the same area or in the same um, studio or whatever, and you need to get from one place to another, you kind of are gonna get screwed. You know, you kind of have to have auditions that are like hours apart because unlike, like in New York, you can have auditions set up, you know, 10 minutes apart and whatnot because most audition spots are just so, it's just, it's, just all just concentrated into one area it's kind of like what it is essentially what LA is but LA I guess it's, it's just out here everything is spread so far out and I think that might have to do with the fact that LA is usually so warm compared to anything else I don't know I'm guessing and then yeah that's pretty much it I guess I don't think I'm gonna speak about anything else I'm gonna end this here and yeah thank you so and this was specifically this was this had to do largely with monica church's video but um a lot of other youtubers who complain about la they pretty much spoke they mentioned these very same things but i just kind of want to offer a different lens for these issues that people have with la um because like i said i do love it here in la i do these things can be bothersome, but they're also not worth um, stressing yourself out over. Like, a lot of these people have literally just said, Ugh, I can't take LA, I'm leaving. And I'm like, but if you really came here for your goals, for your dreams, for your aspirations, then those things should not overpower your, your work ethic and your intentions, you know? And so, and like I said, I am myself moving, I'm leaving LA, but I have my reasons for that and I will explain that. But I'm gonna end this here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. God bless.